Welcome to TransLogic, brought to you by Chevrolet. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Today, we're getting an in-depth look at the 2011 Chevy Volt. We're here with Nick. He's the communications manager for Chevrolet. Nick, thanks for being here. Thanks, Bradley. Now, Nick, why the Volt? Well, the Volt represents uh, a lot of things for Chevrolet right now. It represents the innovation and the technology that is coming out of Chevrolet as we move from gas-friendly vehicles to gas-free vehicles. Okay. Now, it's funny you would say gas-free vehicles because I feel like there's a lot of confusion with this car. It's an electric car that also has a gas engine. Tell me about how this is working. The Volt is an electric vehicle with extended range. This vehicle has a 16 kilowatt hour battery, which gives you the range of about 40 miles, okay. which is what about 78% of Americans drive on a daily basis. So for the entire week, you can drive gas free on electricity alone that comes from the grid. But on the weekend, Americans love to travel. We like to take vacation. So we can drive up to 340 miles, always driving on electricity. 40 of that coming off the grid, another 300 coming off the uh, onboard generator. So then it's a hybrid. It is not a hybrid. It's not a hybrid. It's not a hybrid. For the first 40 miles, you can be going any speed up to 100 and on electric alone. Okay. Now, after that 40 miles, the generator kicks in when you need it to. So what it does is it kicks in, generates electricity that goes into the battery and then back to the other electric motor that's powering the wheels. So you're always being powered by electricity. Okay. A hybrid will use your gas engine as soon as you step into that throttle. So low speeds, parking lots, you may be using a little bit of electric, but after you step into that throttle, you're gonna be using both a combination of gas and electric. With this vehicle, for the first 40 miles, you are electric alone, no matter what speed. You always have the electric drive experience. So you have the electric motors that are providing constant torque. You know, torque, 270 pound-feet of torque that it's, that's available as soon as you step on the, uh, the throttle. So who would you say is going head-to-head -head with this car? The funny thing about this vehicle is that there is nothing else like it on the road. So this vehicle really stands alone, uh, but I think you'll find from an overall package how it performs, you don't have to completely change your life to drive it. You don't have to relearn how to drive a vehicle. So who's the Volt for? And with the price point being what it is, obviously you're not going after college kids. The Bolt is, uh, you know, out of the gate going to be picked up by the early adopters. So this is the 20, 30 something techies who really understand technology and get it. But it's available at two different price points. If you want to buy it outright, which we're selling it, it's at $33,500 after the $7,500 tax credit. Okay. Or it's a very attractive lease rate at $350 a month with $2,500 down. Which that is a rate that a lot more Americans can, can get into and, and it's comparable to other mid-sized sedans. Well, it is true it's comparable to other mid-sized sedans. However, I'm curious about the opportunity for dealers to bump that price up. We have over 600 dealers who have been certified to sell Volt. We encourage you to shop around, find the best purchase price and dealer experience. Yeah. Now, are dealers already kind of prepped with how to handle these and they are totally schooled from the front to the back and how to repair it and all that kind of stuff too? The vehicle is not out yet, so it will be in market by the end of the year. End of the year, right. To become a, a Volt dealer, have to have qualified technician, they have to have charging capability of the dealership, uh, and they have to be able to service the vehicle. So what did you guys learn from the EV1? Obviously from the EV1, GM has an extensive amount of experience with battery electric vehicles. We learned a lot in battery controls, battery technology, and in customer behavior. And what we learned is that you know, there is still this great worry about the ability to travel the distances you want to travel. And with an electric-only vehicle, you have to be cognizant of your trip. And not only how far it is, but also potential emergencies that may arise. You know, if the wife calls and wants you to stop on the way home, if your friends call want to go to a, a Dodgers game, you have to make the call right then and there. Am I gonna be able to get there and right. still get home? Right. What's it gonna take for Chevy to feel like the Volt was a success? Well, the, the Volt is more than just sales volume. Okay. For the Volt to be a success is to help change the perceptions around Chevrolet, around the technology and innovation that comes out of Chevy. And, you know, really at the end of the day, the ability to change consumers' perceptions about what it means to drive a car. And it sounds like really raised the bar for consumers out of what they expect a car to do. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's a, a great way to put it. Very cool, very cool, awesome. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. This is great. All right, that's all for TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. We'll catch you later.